Hi guys, uh, today we have one of the biggest packages I've ever opened on the channel. That thing. Well, I've been talking about it for a little bit, and um, finally got it. The iMac M3. That's what we're going to be reviewing today, and setting up, and yeah. So, stick around for the end of this, and for the nice review. Okay, so... There is the little Apple pull tab right here, if you guys see that. Can you see that in the... No, you can't. So look, there's a little Apple pull tab right here. So I'm gonna pull that. Ah, big pull tab, okay. Now I'm just gonna eat that over there, okay. Open this up. Does it, oh, it comes out like this, okay. Oh my God, guys. I can't wait to open this. Okay guys, so I got it out of the other box and basically there's a little handle up there. It's braided, if you could see. It's braided towards the color of the iMac, of course. And I just can't believe I have this thing. Looks so good, bro. Okay. Let's open it up now. So, to open it, there is a pull tab right here. So, that was nice. Okay, yeah, so you lift up like this. And then, I'm gonna put this like this so it doesn't fall out. Okay, we're on the floor now, and here's, yeah, so that stays like this, and then this, can it go more? I don't think it can. So I guess you just lift up the Mac. I'm going to lift this out and put it on the table, on the desk, um, carefully, so I don't break it. Okay, so we got this here, on there, it still says hello on the paper. I'll get to that, the main part, in a minute. Let me first show you what's the rest in the box. So there's nothing under there. You just had to lift it out of here, but here is the keyboard. So you were gonna lift this up or pull this out and lift this up. So in here is where everything is. So here we have, let's start with this first. So this is the braided cable that goes the bladed, the braided blue cable that goes into the Mac right here with this thing. And then it also has this block as the main port. And then it has these. So this will be plugged into the wall. Next we have, oh, underneath of that, we have this. So this is like the instructions and, ooh, Ooh, that's actually pretty nice. The blue iMac uh, sticker. This is very nice. I'm going to be keeping this because oh, that looks nice. Normal ones are just white, but the blue for a change, pretty nice. All right, so this is going to go right back into there. Now, the next cord is this. This is also, this is not braided. This is the normal Apple feel. And this will be plugged into the charging block I showed you earlier. And then this will be plugged into the wall. So that's another uh, cord. We have the Magic Keyboard here. So it has a covering on it. I'll unwrap that when we get to the desk. But this one has the Touch ID button right there. And then on the back... Well, there's a sticker, but there's going to be an Apple logo right there. And then right here is the US, or no, that's Lightning. Lightning power, uh, like, to plug, charge this. Oh, well, under it is the cable for it. So it's USB-C to Lightning. So that will be plugged into the keyboard. And this will be plugged into the computer. And this one's also braided to the color. That's three cords now. Okay, now, next we have, well, finally, I think, for this box is the Apple mouse. 
So it's blue and white on the top. There is a covering, I'll take that off in a minute. But uh, this is my first time owning an Apple mouse. Well, owning any of this actually. So sounds pretty good. And uh, if I try to play video games though, I might like Geometry Dash, I might get a new mouse. That is all that is in this giant box right here. Next, we're gonna get into the mouse. So let me peel this. Okay. Here's the mouse, the nice cover with the Apple logo. And on the back, it also has the Apple logo. And then you plug it in with their stupid design on the bottom. I don't know why they did that, but nonetheless, Apple did. So we have to live with that until they make a new one, maybe in another 10 years from when this video releases. Now we have the keyboard. We have this to unpeel. And then we have the Apple logo on the back and the little stoppers. And up here, we have the nice keyboard with the touch ID. Okay guys, so from here, I'm gonna grab it and unwrap it. So in the back, there is these two, I don't know if you can see it, there's two pull tabs right here that you're just gonna pull. You could also twist it like that, so I'm gonna do it like that. And then you're gonna do it on this side as well. So for the big reveal, right here, just nice paper too. Okay, so nice long That's nice. That's nice to hear. How about we get this thing on, shall we? So, how we turn it on is this. So, this power block we're gonna need to plug into the back of the computer with this. You do this, you turn this around. <clears throat> okay, in this right here, there's a little Right there, you can see it. You just stick it in and it's magnetic. So for the most part, it will be snapping just like that. You just have to wiggle it a little bit. On this one, this is the 1499 model, um, 1400 or almost the 1500 model, dollar model. This has the four USB C ports on the back right there. And then this also has the one with the uh, 256 gigabytes on it. And then the Touch ID upgrade. So anyway, back to plugging this in. So in the back, you have this one. So that's where we're gonna get this cord right here. So this cord will plug in right here. Okay, now let's plug in. So, what do we do next? Well, the Apple mouse and the Apple keyboard with this cord. So, I'm gonna grab this cord and plug it in to the back of the Mac right here. Plug that in. 
I'm gonna get another cord to plug in the mouse. Wait, that's the USB C to USB C. This is a normal Apple cord, USB C to Lightning. That's not braided, so let's plug that in here. Okay. So apparently these get like a month battery life, so you only have to plug them in about once a month. On the back here, I don't know if you can see it, there is this power button right here. I'm gonna hold that in. And then the Apple noise will sound. So now it's loading right here. And it's telling me to turn on the keyboard and the mouse. So right here on the magic keyboard, there is a button, switch that on right there. And on the back of the Apple mouse, there's another one of those buttons right here. Switch that on. Use English as the main language. Press the return key. And it also says that, I guess, so. Now this works. So we're gonna go to settings real quick. There's a bunch of different wallpapers. There's this one, this one, but there is more, I think. Oh, there's this, this looks kinda cool. Do I keep that? Might keep that. Might keep that one, what is this? Oh, I think I'm gonna keep that because that looks really cool. There's more of these. It's up here as well. I think I'm gonna keep what I have. Um, I'm sure you could also import to add some from your photos, but now I think this is good. So now let's do this. Welcome to Apple Music. Uh, to listen to your songs and play this, of course. Arch Library. So we sync in that stuff, and then I'll get back to you when that syncs. So here we have this song pulled up. This is what it looks like with the background. And then you could also exit that. And It'll be up in the top left corner, or you can move it around, have it here, here, wherever. But that'll show you the album cover. And then you can go here. Here's my playlists. So I have all my songs. Like, here's my Boy With You playlist. I have all my songs here. Uh, it tells you the artist, the song, the album, and then the time. On the phone and iPad, it doesn't do the album or the time. It just tells you the artist and the song, which is nice. I actually kind of like how it tells you how long that is. Okay, so you could also uh, airplay here. I'll just show you here. So I have my iMac, the Apple TV, bedroom, game room, and then uh, someone else's TV. Then we also have uh, some switch to, so we could do that. Okay, so I put my uh, profile picture on my Mac as my main channel um, logo. So yeah, there's that. Let's go apple.com, might as well. So this says the iPhone 15 Pro, um, Mac, iPad, Vision, Vision Pro, that's... Um, so this is something that I want as well to Apple Vision Pro. Though this thing, which I'm going to be using for a long, long time, is only a thousand four hundred, while this is two thousand more. Um, so I most likely won't be getting this for a long time. But that being said, maybe eventually when they come out with a cheaper model, I'll be getting one. But look at that. That looks amazing. Looks so cool. What are we doing?
I froze, I think. Oh. Mm -hmm. Loading. Ooh, loading. Okay. So, cameras and sensors. Shows you that. So if you guys didn't see it, I actually tried this on and I posted a YouTube short about it. Um, I might post a long form video on it. Uh, like I have a 13 minute video of me just randomly trying it. Uh, I might post that, but we'll see. Uh, it depends on if I get to editing, but yeah, this looks amazing. It's really cool. I like this part where you can actually watch a movie and stuff here. Let me enlarge this. Or you can watch like a movie with it. Isn't that cool? So anyway, and then this, the spatial video is also really cool. Um, FaceTime, it looks weird. It looks really weird. But that's kind of cool. Like the 360. It's kind of slick. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching so much. Um, this has been a journey for me to make for this iMac. So now I've had the iMac for about two weeks um, before I filmed the original part of this video. I just wanted to come on and say that I've been using this a lot more and I've set it up where it has all my apps in the app bar and um, like everything set up with my iCloud and stuff. Uh, I also have a hard drive or a flash drive that I could put my photos on uh, when I get around to it. But I have everything set up and I just kind of want to say that I would suggest this to anybody that's trying to get work done or is going to use it to watch movies or play games. Now, uh, Steam, it works with um, some apps uh, with like Geometry Dash, but if you are trying to play like uh, Poppy Playtime or some other uh, games, it may not work with the iMac and you might have to get it from different websites through the iMac at least, um, instead of just Steam itself. Now, uh, this has been an amazing video to make. 9 out of 10. I think there could be a little bit more room for improvement. I'm not really sure what that would be. Uh, maybe a little bit more room, like screen room, like here and a little bit on the side. But uh, from what they have so far, I think uh, 9 out of 10. So with that, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I see you guys in the next time. Peace. <laughs>